A call for Singapore's aviation sector not to lose focus and to continue accelerating digitalization and sustainability efforts. Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kiet says the global industry will be reshaped significantly post-COVID, even as it shows signs of recovering from the pandemic. His comments came at the official launch of the SIA NUS Digital Aviation Corporate Laboratory, which will develop new tech solutions to improve SIA crew operations and services. I hope that more companies here will consider strengthening your collaborations with our universities and research institutes. This can take the form of corporate labs like the one today, or more targeted research collaborations to tackle specific challenges or industry research consortia. At the heart of such partnerships is the tightening of the nexus between research and industry, enabling both sides to learn and benefit from each other. The lab will also advance aviation by tapping into the research and development expertise from Singapore-based firms. The $45 million research facility will leverage artificial intelligence, data science and sleep science. It will first focus on key areas like reshaping crew training, improving crew wellness and transforming customers' onboard experience. Leisha Rodney with this report. It may not look like it, but this cabin is not the real thing. It's a simulator for researchers to study passengers' cabin experience. From the seats to lighting and even temperature, Singapore Airlines aims to use the information collected to develop new products and services that can anticipate their customers' needs and improve their sleep and comfort during flights. Singapore Airlines is best known for the service, especially the in-flight services, right? So how can we continue to be the leading? And currently, it's really based on the experience of our cabin crew and the rigorous training they have gone through this. Can we leverage on data? Can we leverage on technology? At the other end of the lab, a cockpit simulator that uses augmented reality and virtual reality. Instead of heading to a training facility, Singapore Airlines hopes to be able to have their pilots train from anywhere using a mobile platform like this augmented reality headset, where they'd be able to engage in an instructor-led training to develop their soft skills like communicating with the air traffic control or cabin crew. What we're going to foresee is in the future, all these long-haul flights will be much, much more comfortable. Everyone will want to take on some of these flights because they will be well served. Likewise, the pilots and the crew are also well trained and well taken care of in their own wellness and therefore delivering even better services. Over 70 researchers and PhD students will be trained at the Digital Aviation Lab over the next five years. They're expected to play a critical role in research and development for the aviation industry.